Hello, and welcome to Kite Finder TV. <laughs> Today we are in the Swiss mountains. We're gonna test some, uh, some Swiss gear. Yes, it's gin. Swiss mate. I'm having a lot of fun with the strawberry. <laughs> strawberry fields forever. So Kai Borders, we've been uh, we've been riding uh, the Jin Shaman uh, up and down uh, the hill. We've been riding a six and a, a nine meter, also called uh, strawberry and uh, lime. Lime? L lime? Lemon? Was it lime or pistache? Pistache. No, no, it's a green one. And um, the green one is a six. So they call it the Shaman. That's also a really luxury word for uh, witch doctor. And um, yeah. Well, it is a really nice kite. This is the second uh, shaman, so it's uh, shaman number two. Was there even a number one? Yeah. Oh, there has been a number one, but this is number two. Now, we haven't tried number two. No, we haven't tried number one. We did try number two, but we haven't tried number one. So we don't really know what the difference is between the two, but maybe you do, so let us know. What we do know is uh, single skins are uh, really, taking over the kiteboarding world. I think uh, from all the stuff we've seen uh, the last uh, two years, I think the single skin are uh, the biggest game changers uh, there are. They're really light, they really follow the wind, so without any wind you can already ride them, and they're really easy to use, and they're really hard to break. Now, there's also a thing with single skins in the past, especially the first ones, you know, they did all the flappy, 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 flappy on the wingtips and when you would steer them, they would do flappy, 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 flappy and most people think like, ooh, this is not really nice, it's doing flappy, flappy, flappy. Now, all single skins guys have a, uh, a little bit different approach on their wingtips, it's a uh, double. So you see, in the center part, it's all single, but on the wingtips, it's all double. So we see, uh, oh yeah. The old chambers again. So when when, uh, when you see it in the air, when it fills up, and you steer it around, it doesn't do flappy, flappy, flappy anymore. So uh, all the flappiness is uh, out of the single skins, and uh, I think uh, that's one of the biggest game changers. There yeah. is a, a story about Flappy. There is a story about Flappy. Yes, there is a really sad story about Flappy. It's really Dutch and it's really long. So, if you got uh, about 10 minutes, I will start talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, another movie. It's another movie. So, looking at the way they use the material, it's pretty cool. Because they have uh, sewn in all the all the different things you can see on the kite, you know, nice little uh, details. Over here, they made some extra reinforcements on the insides, so uh, to make it uh, extra durable. And yeah, where does uh, Jin come from? Well, uh, Jin uh, seems to be uh, a Korean guy that's somewhere in the past made kites, but nowadays uh, Jin is all Swiss. So it's not a kite, it's a... Cheese. Kitely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's no better, uh, better place to test uh, Swiss stuff than in Swiss, because we just had a Swiss Cordon Bleu. Well, in the Netherlands uh, you say like, oh, this is a stinky cheese schnitzel, but uh, when you hear in Swiss, you think like, hmm, gourmet. So and that's why uh, Jin uh, doesn't talk about colors on their kite, but about flavors. So we have the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was riding a nine, Steph was riding a six. Uh, we could change over and um, yeah, it was perfect. How much wind do you think we got? Around 15, 17 knots or something? Yeah, some tw sometimes 12. Yeah, sometimes 12, going up and down a little bit over here in the beautiful uh, Brambrusch uh, mountain in uh, Swiss. Woo! Hey, and uh, safety, it's a fifth line safety, yeah, Andre? Yeah, it's a fifth line safety. And we're going to show you how it works. <laughs> Now 
Now, uh, Jin uh, has a really nice uh, aftermarket uh, bar system. We've seen these uh, before. Nice uh, clamp cleat. Nothing, uh, nothing really special. They have a nice uh, untwist system. So, you know, after a couple of loops, you see Steph doesn't really do this stuff. So I have to turn it all the way back or whatever it does. Now, well, after a couple of loops, you can uh, turn it back. Really easy, safe, safe system. And now, Try to hear the flapping. And a little. Almost no flappy flappy. Especially when you keep it powered. And when you depower. When you depower it, there's a little bit of flappiness back. Yeah, and a little you bit. You it all the way. But you don't feel it on the bar. No, you don't feel it on the bar. There's no flappiness on the bar anymore. The coolest thing about a single skin kite, it is uh, so easy to use. You can even give one to your girlfriend. So that's one. Now the second one, it is really, really light. So if you carry it on, uh, if you want to go up in the mountains or you have to walk a little bit. Today we uh, fit uh, three single skin kites. A four, a six, and a nine in a 12 meter uh, Evo uh, Evo pack. So uh, yeah, you can fit a lot of kites in uh, in there because they're really light. And then uh, of course there's uh, one other big reason. They're really value for money because uh, all the brands that uh, that sell uh, single skin kites they price them reasonable. So uh, that's really nice as well. So really easy to use. Especially really in light winds, because if you see the kite is now on the edge of, uh, of the window and normally when you have a heavier kite, if you would have for example um, a normal foil kite that is a little bit more heavy, it starts to sit on the edge of the wind window, you know when you have a light wind, the wind window shrinks, it goes bigger, it shrinks. With a single skin kite, because they are so light, you will see them like now, they just follow the, they just follow your wind window so it just falls back a little bit here you see it's falling back a little bit and you don't really have to do anything so normally you say like oh i have to pull it in a loop or you know start steering it because otherwise i'll lose it not with a single sink kite they always stay on the uh, on the edge of the wind window so it's really nice for people if you really want to learn kiteboarding on land really nice to practice and especially really easy to use in the snow they miss a little bit of performance if you really want to jump and really want to go big and, uh, and high. But I don't think it will take very long before they put that in these guys as well. So that's really, really nice. Can I add uh, one? Yes. I think uh, small kite, big power. Yeah. They also have a lot of power for, uh, for the size. You could always uh, ride a couple of sizes uh, less. And... Um, if you look on our uh, on the whole channel, you will find a movie of Steph going uh, on the water with a single skin, with uh, almost uh, hardly uh, any wind, doing a hydrofoil thing. Now this is a little bit uh, tricky because they don't really float yet, although we've seen uh, a nice prototype uh, on the channel as well where they already managed it. And I think uh, the future of kiteboarding will be single skin kites that uh, that can float. And it will be uh, even more easier for everybody uh, to really enjoy this sport. Wow. So uh, let us know what you think about uh, single skin kites. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to play around a little bit more over here in uh, Swiss. Bye bye. Uh, so uh, I totally forgot about one thing. I walked all the way over here to show you the fifth line safety. So uh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. Well, uh, it works. Bye!